Hey, what's going on you guys? Just <clears throat> I want to do a quick closeout video for um, the eight week sprint challenge and the, and the transformation challenge, um, which I'd like to point out right now in terms of like, you know, winning and, and you know, people like actually um, like winning money or whatever. Um, yes, the challenge goes like in blocks, but it runs all year round. There's a winner at the very, very end. So, you know, if you've seen somebody participating in this and you're inspired to jump on, but not sure like if the timing's right or you can still do so, the answer is unequivocally yes. So um, if you feel the inclination, please reach out, let me know, and I'll be happy to help get you up and running in any way that I can. Um, to just kind of close out my own progress, um, I feel pretty good about it for the most part. Um, you know, being uh, home and, and with family for really the first time in, I don't know, over a decade. Uh, my brother was in town, a lot of occasions to celebrate. So, you know, departing from what the normal diet um, and routine might be did happen. Um, but it's, it's nice because I feel like I have gotten to a point where I am happy enough with how I look that I feel okay making, you know, little, little steps away. Um, I try to never take a step backwards. I may step sideways. You know, I, I never really even feel the temptation anymore to like lose my mind and eat a whole pizza or a pint of ice cream, right? Um, but, you know, I do like to have a, a drink or two here and there. Um, maybe eat a little bit more than I should uh, out at a restaurant. So, um, but I've, again, gotten to a point where I feel very comfortable doing that, and that's important. That's an important step to reach in your journey because you can't be, dialed, at least me anyway, I'm not, I'm not dialed in 100% of the time. Um, pretty close, you know, in the 90s, right? Like that's a, it's a place that I'm comfortable and, and happy being, but um, there's no reason that fitness can't fit in and around your life, even when you're making progress, right, and taking steps forward. Now, granted, the more dialed in you are, the more quickly you'll move forward, and I think the more lasting your results will be. Um, but again, it's, it's all part of the process. So if you find yourself in a place where you make a mistake, don't let it, you know, um, avalanche into many mistakes, right? Like, you, you, you get back on the, you get back up on the horse and you keep going. Um, I've really come to learn the importance of recovery. Um, I've never taken two days off in a row, like as, you know, repeatedly as part of a routine on an enduring basis. I have done that. Um, and especially like as my calorie intake has, has decreased, I have probably not only not like missed out on progress, I think I've actually ended up moving faster. Um, the front part of this challenge was actually a little bit more of a recovery phase for me. So I was still making progress, but it was not quite as intense as it's been the last few weeks where I have made more progress. So had the timing ended up a little bit better in terms of style of which I was lifting, you know, my overall numbers probably could have been better for this eight week, you know, microscoped uh, portion. But again, like something I've learned is even when you're recovering, you can still make progress. Um, and I say recovery like, you know, in a macro sense, right? Like you change up your style of lifting um, so that you're not constantly stimulating your body in the same way. Uh, then when also, you know, more people commonly think of recovery is you know, basically just time off, right? And for me, that includes, you know, a couple gallons of water every day, um, good sleep, at least seven and a half hours. That's usually my goal. If I have to get six, sometimes I'll do that. But I usually try and time my cycles so that I'm getting six, seven and a half or nine. If I do that effectively, um, my body responds really, really well to that. Um, getting massage work, getting chiropractic work. You know, again, if you're at a bad place, this is something that you might have to do once a week like or, or more. But once you get to a place where everything's generally functioning as it should, you know, it's something that you do every three weeks, four weeks, just to make sure that, you know, outside of an injury that, that everything is where it's supposed to be and you can kind of go into maintenance phase and it becomes something that's a lot more sustainable. Um, so really, like I said, learn the importance of recovery um, in a couple different senses, you know, throughout this eight week challenge. Um, yeah, so overall numbers are pretty good. Lost about 12 pounds, a um, little bit, almost 2% body fat. Um, and I think just under two inches um, on my waist. So again, you know, really happy, uh, not done. Not, uh, not by a long stretch. So I think I've got another probably eight weeks of uh, really dedicated work before I get to a point where um, 
I'm feeling like really dangerous, right? Um, but again, it's all part of the journey. Uh, I've had a, a great time sharing this with you. I'm, I'm not going to stop, but I may, you know, uh, stretch things out a little bit more um, so that I'm not overloading people. But um, yeah, in closing, if this is something that you're thinking about doing, then do it. Go for it. At least give it a shot. Reach out to me. Let's get you like actually into the contest. It does not cost a dime and you get access to meal plans, workouts, anything in that nature that you need will be there for you, like pre-canned, ready to go. And that's a big chunk of getting your foot off the ground in terms of making a real transformation is getting your diet and exercise lined up together um, is crucial. So I'm here to help, here to answer questions. Um, you know, if, you, if you're watching this, thank you. And I hope you found some value in it for sure. And uh, keep getting after it. Got to pay your dues every day. So I'll see you later, guys.